we're back. Would you believe it or not? Like one to two weeks later. It's insane, I know. Turns out the bulkheads we need aren't available at the local hardware stores. We had to special order this online and it was not cheap. This is the same exact bulkhead that we had before, except it's for a wall thickness of a two inch maximum instead of a one inch maximum. Hopefully this will do the trick. nice one yeah it's kind of cool you can see the moisture on the inside right here right where you so we're, we're we're drying out on both sides oh yeah kind of forgot how this all goes together See out from inside. Do you mind hand me those fancy boards? Thanks. Would you look at that? That's it. Yeah. Tub's looking good. So now what do we do? Uh, nap. <laughs> we're so close to being done. Oh, what do we do now? So we're gonna fill it. We're gonna fill the tub okay. because it's really ideal to have water in it. It's just drying out as we speak. We have a little bit of finagling to do on our filtration system, but we're not really changing our filtra filtration system. So we're gonna get the tub filled and then we'll probably work on that either this evening or tomorrow when we go to town. Pretty good water pressure. Do you remember when we filled this up with seven gallon jugs? <laughs> or failed? I'm glad we waited to get the right fitting. Yep. These look really good. I think we should probably tighten them down a little bit. Yeah, I just kind of fear we can tighten them. I think the bottom one's already underwater and I don't see any leaks out of there yet, so Yay. that's a good sign. For the time being, we're still in late winter, mid winter, I guess, late winter, I don't know. And uh, we have to keep everything protected from freezing. So we're gonna try to design the filtration system a little bit better for the short term, using a lot of quick connects and stuff like that. Um, it works really well for our, our water system too, so that we can disconnect the pump and everything really fast and bring everything inside and keep it from freezing. Long term, we're hoping that we can build kind of like a little pump and filtration station that can just stay up here. It's insulated and then it's got a small heat source and yep. everything will be kind of protected from freezing. I think the important thing to note here is that, I don't know if you guys see the pattern, but we feel this pattern that we're trying to think about our life and what are all the little things we could do to make our life easier. There's nothing wrong with our life per se, but there are a lot of things that are just a little harder than they need to be because we haven't had the time to figure out a better solution. So I think this is just one of those things that it's just that much easier to heat, that much easier to clean, which means it's going to be an asset to our life. Yeah, early on when we built this hot tub, 
it was a ton of work and it was worth it. You know, we really enjoyed the work, but we're getting to the point where we, we want to work on no other stuff. Of work. We have so much work to do on this property. We really want the hot tub to be not that much work. So at the end of our day of work, we can actually come in here right. to relax, which is the original purpose of this hot tub was to be some sort of therapeutic device. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's meant to be relaxing. And early on, that was relaxing. Getting firewood, heating the tub, enjoying the tub, that was all relaxing. And over time with winter and with the other projects going, it's becoming more work yeah. instead of relaxing. So I don't know, maybe tonight our attitude will change when we heat this thing. Because if I recall correctly, I might have said it earlier in this video, I think we heated the tub five times and didn't get in. That's terrible. That's horrible. That's a lot of work for nothing. I have to say, I didn't have very high hopes for the hot tub idea. Oh, the truth comes out. I oh, was nervous. Oh, burn. Ouch. Jesse oh, said we should build a hot tub before anything else in our life. Did it work out? It did. Our, you... our original plan was like an eight foot stock tank that was two feet deep. <laughs> I don't think that would have worked out, but I am happy today that we took the time to build this right. And two years later, she looks better than ever. You know what makes me really happy? Is that I've met more than one person who thinks they're gonna use a stock tank as a hot tub. And we were those people. And you know who's to blame for all these ideas? YouTube. The internet. Yubity tube. Yubity tube. <laughs> I think about the time we got this polar bear was when the tub decided to go kaput on us. So I don't think he's he's earned his he keep yet. Really, yeah. No. Hanging out. He's a freeloader. He's like bugaboo. So we have a plan to add a Y down here at the bottom and then add a whip hose. And our theory is that if we close this valve as we're pumping, the siphon from the whip hose we can use to try to clean the bottom of the tub. A lot of the problem is that we get a lot of granular stuff in the bottom, kind of like a swimming pool. Even though we bathe and everything before we get in the tub, it finds its way in the bottom. So hopefully, if we go through that effort, we can kind of vacuum the, t the crevices under there and it'll all just go through the filtration system. Periodically, we're still gonna have to drain the tub and give it a good shop vac to get all the sand and the heavy grit and things that find its way in the bottom. But hopefully we can do that less often. And convinced if I write, if I try to write my name in cursive with the hose while I'm filling the water that the tub will fill, fa fill faster. And I think I understand why men's bathrooms are dirty. <laughs> I was I, just gonna I say. I get the temptation. I was just gonna say. <laughs> funny what happens when you've got a hose in your hand and you start writing words. Right? Because we've got a valve down here at the bottom, instead of having that lower kind of drain sticking out, we're thinking that we should be able to just fit this piece of foam, um, kind of a faucet frost protector on here. Uh, it's looking a little long. Maybe we're optimistic, but. Yeah, maybe it'll work. Hopefully we can, if this one doesn't fit, we can find one that fits over that and just give us a little bit more freeze protection for this lower valve. The upper one, in theory, shouldn't have any water in it because this should be above the water line. And usually with the water, it's usually maybe about here or so with nobody in it. And then of course, as you get in, it fills up. So we're concerned when you hop in that the water might flow out. So I think we, oh, that might be a better idea Copy to put it. Yeah. So we actually planned on using this on the inside to plug that so that if we have too much pizza and stuff, um, it doesn't overflow. But we might be able just to cap the outside. That could be better. I don't think it's too early to light a fire. You there know, shouldn't wait too long. I mean, it'll take we'll, a while to get going. Yeah, it'll probably take 15 minutes or more to get the fire ripping. So I think I'll start on that. Then we can start heating and then maybe we can start filtering. And the odds of it getting used tonight goes way up. Maybe we can use our new bathrobes finally. Oh, I forgot about the robes. Right? We should do a small fashion show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All I have to say is that those beautiful things that are over your head right now may not be a permanent fixture. Maybe we'll just leave them up as a tribute or maybe we'll power the hot tub. Oh from solar. Wah, cool. wah, wah. I love that the idea of tying to the power grid feels like we can't bring solar panels onto our property anymore. It totally doesn't. We could still have independently solar powered things, which is what a lot of people do. Heck yeah. Like Bugaboo's house. Cause Bugaboo's gonna have his own house, right? Any idea where our, our pool net went? The one that got shoveled off the deck it got that way. Off the deck, so it's still over there. Let's go look. Huh. I don't think I ever would have found this. <laughs> it's in good shape, Bill. Heck yeah. 
for some reason I think that's not a hot tub skimmer. Is it overkill? <laughs> It's okay, don't worry. We saved it. <laughs> These poor cameras. We don't have cameras so they can sit on a bookshelf. We just don't. Not labeled for this use, right? Pretty happy we put a hydrant right here. Right? We were actually on the fence. It's kind of a last minute decision. I don't think there's any way to convey this. We certainly don't d video every aspect of our life, far from. But the last month, the last couple of weeks specifically, just a lot of things have been falling into place and we're finding the time to do things like this and that is good on the mind. I got it, I got it. All right. Good job.